Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord, I'm the host. I wanna talk about a situation that's leaving a lot of people frustrated. They're out dating and they end up in getting into a situation for a few months and then it just ends. They can't figure out what's happening because most of their relationships are ending up this way. So the topic today is, why do most of my relationships only last for three to six months? One of the biggest reasons that relationships end within this time frame is because we can all be pretty good for a couple of months, right? And also we're excited, we're having great sex, we're having all these really fun and new things happening. And so it's exciting. And so we look forward to seeing each other. A lot of the times people go in really fast if they've met somebody that sort of fits all the criteria of what they're looking for. So they go in like gangbusters and, and jump into the relationship with everything they have. And at the end of the day, when things start to settle a bit, it's not quite as, as you know, where you're jumping into the sack all the time and things become a little bit on the norm. You look at it and you say, wow, okay, it's kind of fizzling out a bit here. It's not that it's fizzling out. You're just getting into the real part of a relationship. But a lot of people like that new excitement. They get really attached and addicted to the adrenaline that new sex, new relationships, fun, exciting dates, and all those sort of things. People get addicted to that. And so what happens is they find themselves in numerous relationships that only last a short time because they're looking for that adrenaline every time. They're not really understanding what a, a true and strong relationship consists of because they're stuck in that place. Hey, don't get me wrong. I remember all that too and that's fantastic but it's even better when you can have a really great friendship as well and have lots of things in common with your partner if your relationships are lasting three to six months and you're not going in fast they're just doing that sometimes it can be a fear and a fear of it not working out so you do little things to sabotage it or maybe they're used to only being you're, or you're choosing people that are sort of this addictive adrenaline personality and so you're on the other end of it where you keep getting them leaving the situation be really careful as to who you allow and into your life who you choose to spend your time with because a lot of the times if you look back you can see that there's a bit of a pattern and you didn't see it at the time because maybe you're drawn to a certain type of person Maybe you really like a little bit of a bad boy or bad girl. And so you end up with these people who have no intentions of committing and they're just there for moving on to the next person. They just want to have as many conquests as they can. So that's the first thing I would suggest is to really look at who you are allowing in your life. If this is a repetitive pattern, maybe look at yourself and say, are you afraid of commitment? Do you really want a partnership long commitment or are you looking for Mr. or Mrs. right now? Sometimes we don't even know that we're sabotaging relationships because we're not ready. We have got a lot of things on our plate. We're just trying to figure out what love is. We've been hurt. We're not quite there yet. We're still getting over a, a long-term breakup. There's so many things that go into it, into this, this question. Another thing is so many people have huge checklists. The expectations are way the hell up here, right? And so what happens is it's great and everything's being met for a long time and then you've got nowhere to go but down in a situation like this. You can't keep up that, that you know, meeting the checklist for, for a very long time because if, if some people's expectations are really, really big, and you're sort of letting your boundaries go and you're adapting to everything they want, eventually you're going to get tired of it. They're going to get tired of the fact that you're not doing it anymore or that you're not really the person they want because their expectations are so out of this world, nobody can meet them. So be very, very careful who you date and listen to what they say on those first few dates. 
If they're saying they're looking for a relationship, that's great. If they're saying they just want to have fun, well, there you go. That's your answer. Don't read anything into what isn't there. This is a big deal for both men and women. They think they can change somebody's mind even if they do say that they don't want a relationship. If somebody's telling you these things in the very beginning, hear them. They're not going to say it just for saying it. They're usually, if they're not interested in a commitment, they will say it. So I would suggest that you write a few things down as to what you feel is happening within each relationship. What are the similarities? Is there something that is a repetitive habit that you're doing or they're doing? Because you are allowing them in. So even if they're the ones doing it, you have to start understanding why you keep being attracted to these people. This is the big thing. Are you always, you know, prepared for them to leave you? Is this a, a sort of an internal sabotage that you just don't feel you deserve it? So you pick people that don't want to be in a long-term relationship? There's so many things to think about here, but I think if you write down a list of all the similar things in each one of your relationships that have made it end within that three to six months, I think you're going to have your answer because there's going to be something listed in there that's very repetitive and then you'll be able to spot it early on when you're meeting somebody. You want to be able to get to know somebody slowly. So first and foremost, I would suggest that you slow down how quickly you get to know somebody, how many dates you have in the first month, all those kind of things. Take your time because maybe you just don't really know them and maybe you're choosing the same type of people over and over again. So if you slow things down, write a list out about what kind of things are similar, I think you're going to find your answer and it's going to be a lot clearer for you. So the next time you do end up in a relationship, you'll be able to spot some of those red flags before you allow yourself to get caught up in it again. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Please leave your comments below here and any questions or topics you have for me, please leave them here and I will get back to you. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.